Hi everyone! Welcome back. After yesterday's video with the photos and memorabilia from our Ben and Jerry's trip, I still had a ton of stuff left over, so I thought I'd make another page with it. I had this bag with the big cow on it that I really liked, as well as this paragraph that was on the back of the bag that talks a little bit about Ben and Jerry's. I also really liked the clouds that there were on the bag and they had like a white dotted outline. So I ended up cutting those out and using them as embellishments around the page. For this page, I really wanted to be happy and colorful. So I picked this rainbow striped pattern paper for the background and I'm using the rest of my memorabilia to lay out the rest of the page. I am cutting off my branding strip and I'm adding my brown paper bag as well as my photo and I'm adding it to the open space on the right side of the paper bag. I got these tickets when we purchased our tour tickets and I saved them. It also has the time and the date that we attended the tour, so I don't need to stamp my date. And then I wanted to use my yellow foam thickers to just spell out tour under Ben and Jerry's so that you can just read Ben and Jerry's tour. I like to use whatever memorabilia I have and the words on it to incorporate it into my title so I don't always have to spell out everything again. I also purchased this really cute flare button at their store and it says Body by Ben and Jerry's. I thought that was very cute. My boyfriend actually got a t-shirt that says Body by Ben and Jerry's. It's one of my favorite t-shirts that he has. For the little paragraph that talks a little bit about Ben and Jerry's, it was also that craft colored background. So in order for it to stand out in front of the brown paper bag, I decided to back that with pink cardstock. Now I'm taking those clouds that I had fussy cut out of the bag and spreading them out throughout the page. I've decided that the upper right hand corner would have a cluster of embellishments and then at the bottom right by the tickets would be another cluster of embellishments and later on I will make the lower left right by the paragraph about Ben and Jerry's the third area of embellishments. When I think of ice cream I think about how it melts sometimes and you have the ice cream drip onto the table or the ground and it creates these little dots. So I pulled up these white enamel dots and just thought it worked out really perfectly to add them to the embellishment clusters. So I added two white enamel dots to each of the cluster areas. For the Ben and Jerry's button, I was able to remove the backing behind it where you would pin it onto a shirt and just add some pop dots so that I could glue it onto the page. I added that button to the upper right hand corner. For my journaling, I didn't feel like I had a good space to write anything, so I went and grabbed a label that I had. It has a green border, and I used my Amy Tangerine teal pen to write out my journaling. I wrote, it was super fun checking out Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream Factory. I love their ice cream. I added that journaling right underneath my title. I wanted to add a little bit more to the page. So I pulled out these transparent stickers and added love this to the upper left hand corner of my photo, but I eventually will move that over to the cluster of embellishments because I didn't like how it was by itself. I also added make today great underneath my journaling and added another one that was for the record above 
the paragraph on Ben and Jerry's. I'm not sure about the reasoning for what I do next, but I didn't quite like the upper portion of the brown paper bag, so I decided to just fold it over and get rid of that semicircle and just tuck it behind the rest of the bag. Last thing I wanted to add was some more yellow because the title was so bright that I felt like I needed to add some more yellow dots to the page. So I took the punctuation on my alpha sheet and just spread them around the page in the three areas of embellishment. I don't think I had enough dots on my alpha sheet, so I actually just took some commas and cut off the tails to make them dots so I could put three in each of the embellishment areas. And that's pretty much my page. So if you like my process video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And I hope you have a crafty day. Mm -hmm.